Hello everyone, this is Ron Baum here with L Let's Play of Lydia. Let's get into this. We just got led by creepy Teddy here. I don't really trust him, but um, he's leading me somewhere to find the monster, I guess. Okay, let's go. Okay, where's this monster? I think you're the monster, Teddy. Honestly. I really hope this doesn't turn into... I mean, I know it's adult themes and stuff, so I'm going to have to caution everyone on that. But, um... Anyway, I told you it would be alright. What are those green things? Fireflies. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, Teddy. They're so pretty. They're like stars. Okay. Good. I can't go there? It's too dark? Whatever. It's right there. There's... Oh. Hi, fire, fire. Uh... Hi, fire... F fire, fire? Okay, row. Oh, that one's lighted. Is it a puzzle? I think it's... Oh, might be... Maybe not a puzzle? This one? This... No. Maybe this one? And then this one? No. Maybe this one? Okay. I'll figure this out, I promise. Eh. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's so pretty. The fireflies. Back when I lived in Oklahoma, there was tons of fireflies. Come on, Teddy. Let's go. I'm not scared anymore. You were right. There was nothing to be scared of. Oh, great. That's what I've said all along. I'm sure we'll find the monster. And there's nothing to be afraid of. You'll see. Let's get going. Alright. Let's do it. Still a little creepy is what is that? Oh, Teddy, this looks nice. Yep, like I said, just a bad thought. The, that monster of yours, I like the music. I'm off. Go enjoy yourself. What? Why would you leave me here? You've earned it. Oh, Teddy. This doesn't look pleasant. <laughs> Thank you. I guess. Yeah. Why would you leave me in the ominous red glow? Hey, dude. Where on earth have you been? Who are you? I was worried sick. You can't go running off like that. What? There, there. It's all right. Come on. Let's sit down. You're freezing. Let's get you warmed up. And we still need to fry those marshmallows. Thanks, mister. Are you supposed to be like the dad? Now that's better. You really scared me, you know. I'm sorry. It's all right, dear. I was worried that you... That something happened to you. Never wander off like that again, okay? Okay. Beep bop bop. Now, where were we? Oh, the marshmallows. But we have to wait a little while. The fire isn't ready yet. So maybe Teddy is a good guy? Mm -hmm. Hey, you want to hear a story? I used to tell you stories. This is the dad. When you were a bit younger. Funny how time flies. It feels like yesterday. Ain't that the truth? Yes, please, tell me a story. Very well. Thy wish is my command. Tee-hee-hee-hee. <laughs> I am loving this, guys. This story is a funny one. No, not one bit scary. Promise? I promise. That teddy bear of yours? 
Did you know he was once a real bear? I don't believe it. I laugh. Hee <laughs> hee hee. Yes, he was. He lived here in the woods with his uh, pals and family. They had this cozy little cave uh, by a little pond. Okay. Those bears got everything going for them. One day, one of those bears was walking in the forest. This bear was special. He was the only purple one of the whole bunch. There was no purple bears? Oh, yes. Oh, uh, yes, there was. But only one in the whole... What? But only one in the whole wide world. Sometimes this purple bear felt... Uh, felt himself lonely. Because he was different from the other bears. That's why the bear liked to walk alone in the woods. Now, as the bear was uh, taking his walk, suddenly he saw this little girl behind the bushes. The bear got curi curious. Curious. What happened next? Hmm. Well, the purple bear had his usual route. But this time he decided to go for an adventure. And he was not disappointed. The bear had... The bear hadn't seen anything like this girl before. He watched her behind a tree. The girl was so pretty, the bear thought. Then the bear stepped on a straw, and the girl heard that. <gasps> What's wrong? You promised the story wasn't scary. I did, didn't I? Let me think. At first, the girl was scared, but then he saw this purple bear. And he saw that the bear, or she saw that the bear uh, wasn't scary at all. The bear wasn't scared either. The bear knew the girl was different from him, but he didn't care. The bear thought, maybe she could be my friend, and I don't have to be alone anymore. They stood there for a while, looking at each other. Then the girl saw the bear smile, and they started walking towards each other. The girl was happy. My phone. Hang on, dear. I have to take this. Hank, my main man. <laughs> What's happening? Yo, yo, yo. What up, my dog? Nothing here. Same old, same old. I can't come. I'm camping with her. Yeah, tell me about it. But man's gotta do what man's gotta do. What? Are you... Trying to be a bro and saying, Ugh, uh, I have to spend time with my kids. Ugh. Nah, I don't think so. Well, I guess you could come. Oh, no. Alright. Come on down here, then. Please don't let there be sexual abuse. We're not that far away from the interstate. I've got drinks and food. What about her? It's late and she goes to sleep right about now. Let me just talk about it right there. Cool. Call me when you're a little closer. Cheers. See you soon. I'm sad. But I wanted to hear the story. Come on, time to go to bed. Come on, Dad, you were the cool one. You promised. Don't be like that. It's late anyways. But you promised. You did promise, you jerk. You stop that right now. I'm not listen listening whining from a big girl like you. Now go to the tent and start sleeping. Hmm. Ugh. Oh, that's not cool. Sometimes you do stupid shit when you don't think. You know, against your better judgment. You know, that one time I didn't pull out this happens. Nice, dude. A couple of weeks later, boom. She's pregnant, wants me to step up. 
We gotta get married. What can I do? How about live up to your responsibilities, douchebag? Nine months later, this big old joy arrives. Don't get me wrong, I love the little monkey. But there's just... I don't know. It's just... Or it's, you know... Hard being a parent? Yeah, I get that. Suck it up. Different than you think. Can't sleep for a full year. Yeah. She just keeps crying and crying. Still gives me the creeps. Yeah. It's hard being a parent, guys. But it's a responsibility that's totally worth it. And the shit with uh, Mrs. Jesus. Don't even get me started. Alright. I think I'm going to have to end it here. Give me another bottle, would you? This is definitely taking a dark turn. Um, sorry if it wasn't what you were expecting. Um, but be advised, PG-13 content. <laughs> um, alright. We'll see you next time. Toodles!